Hi folks, in this part two of the tutorial I'm going to show you how to do uh, how to create a branch and uh, we'll talk a little bit about why you would create a branch. Okay, well to start first thing we'll do is we'll set up a repository again just like last time. Uh, let's connect to our server. It's 192.168.1.4 Okay. Um, you know, from the last video, I think I still have that SVN serve running, so let me kill that. We're going to start from scratch. 8796. Okay. Now, the first thing we're going to do, just like last time, is we're going to make a directory. Dot, uh, we gotta put that P so we can make the. The whole directory. Okay, so we made that. Now we're gonna create a repository there. SVN admin. Create. Uh, we're gonna create it here. SVN tutorial repos. And we'll make another Hello World project. Why not? Okay, now let's change our permissions in that. in. Uh, for that repository, repos, hello world, uh, conf, svn serve, okay, um, sure, anonymous users can read, they can check it out, sure, passwords are in there, and open up our password file, and we'll create a user called Melvin, let's say, and his password will be password. Okay, great. Now, the last thing we have to do is just start up our server. Uh, SVN serve dr SVN tutorial repos. Great. We're going to come back over to our client machine now. And uh, okay, so now I'll make a directory called hello world. And now, what are we going to put in Hello World? We're going to put some code that we're going to import into our repository. But uh, if you ever work on an SVN project, if this is your first time working on one, uh, you're very often going to see three directories here in the repository. You're going to see one called Trunk. I'll make that now. You're going to see another one called Branches. And you're going to see one more called Tags. Okay? Branches, okay, first, trunk, that's going to be the main, where the main code is. That's going to be the, the, the functioning code that uh, that's tested and, 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 uh, and, and working and up to date. This is the bleeding edge uh, of the code. This is the, the head of your, uh, of your history. This is, this is the bleeding edge of your software is in trunk, and it works, and it's good code, but it's not ready to be, to be released to a client yet. Uh, while you're making changes on the trunk, typically uh, you don't want a whole bunch of people editing the trunk at one time. So what, uh, if you work on a, on a team, typically what everyone will do is for every kind of change they want to make to the trunk, they're going to copy the trunk into their branches directory. And then they'll make their changes there. They'll make sure everything works. And then they'll merge it back into the trunk. And then everybody can have their own branch and make their own changes without anybody touching the trunk. And, and then they merge them in and, and test it make sure everything works. Uh, tags, this is where you're going to put your stable releases. These are for your clients. So once your truck, your trunk reaches a certain point of maturity that you're ready to, to, to ship the software, you'll, you'll tag it and put it in this tags directory. Okay, so now what do we do? Well, we can import this now into our repository. So we'll say SVN, import, hello world, and we're going to import it over here, uh, 192, 168, 1 1.4, and hello world. This is my first commit. Uh, not temp, but Melvin. And password is password. Uh. Uh. Nuts. Didn't mean to show you this. Can't remember what that password is. No, ignore this. Store password unencrypted. Yes. Okay. Great. Uh, you don't have to worry about that. That won't happen to you, probably. That was I just restarted my computer, and um, that's an Ubuntu problem. That has nothing to do with SVN. So, um, you won't see that. Um, okay. 
So now in our repository, we have in our Hello, Hello World project, we have three directories. Uh, now it's important to note now at this point, you've imported these files into your repository, but this that we're looking at right here, this isn't under version control, this Hello World. So we can actually get rid of it. We don't really need that. Um, this is not under version control. We can't make commits in this directory right now. The the repository is over on the server right now. So we can just get rid of this, these local files. And now we can check out the repository. Uh, 192.168.1.4 and um, hello world. Ah, not bad. Hello world. Great. And you see in here now, we have the .svn directory, but before we didn't have it. We just had branches, tags, and trunk. Okay. So, that's that. We've made our directory structure. Let's add some code to the trunk right now. Let's make a file called greetings. And this will just say hello or something like that. We'll say def uh, hello and um, returns what? It returns hello, say. And we'll make another one. How about that? Def hi and hi uh, returns hi. Okay. Uh, all right, we have some code in the trunk. We're not going to commit it yet, though. We're first going to make sure that it works, it does what we want it to do. Let's uh, let's do a real basic test. We'll import from greetings. We'll import hello and hi. And we'll say hello. Does that do what it's supposed to do? It does. Hi, does that do what it's supposed to do? It does. So this code is good. Um, okay, so now we're ready to commit. Code's working, doing what we want. We can, this is stable code right now. We'll commit it. First we, thing we have to do is add the code, the, the script, and now we can commit. Added greetings.py. Great, okay, so now we have a trunk with some meaningful code in it. Now, assume we want to make some change to this code uh, going forward. There's a team of, say, four people working on this with us, uh, working on it with us. Like I said before, we're not going to make our changes right in the trunk. That's for stable code. Um, we're going to, to make our changes, we're going to copy that trunk code into a branch, and we're going to give the branch a meaningful name. And there, that way, if we're working on this change and it winds up taking two or three weeks, we're not going to be breaking the code in the trunk. We can keep our broken code over on the side in our branch, or our code that's behaving weird. We can do all of our experiments over there, but the trunk will still be, you know, uh, under pressure. The, the trunk could be ready for release quickly or something like that. But, uh, and it won't be contaminated with all this junk and experiments that you're doing. So let's, uh, let's come here. What we're going to do is, now we're going to create a branch. And the way to do that is we're going to SVN copy, uh, SVN, we're going to copy 192.168.1.4 hello world trunk. We're going to copy that. Uh, to our branches directory and uh, let's say what what change will we make here we'll um, we'll add a greeting call we'll add an informal greeting so those two greetings we have in that file were very formal in this branch we're going to add informal greetings so we'll give it that name good making a branch to make informal Readings. Great, committed reversion three. Let's go to our branches directory. Of course, it's not there. This is that co that copy was made in the repository, not in our local, um, not in our local copy of it. So we need to update. And now in here we have a branch called add informal greetings, and in there you'll see that it contains all the code from trunk. Okay, so. We'll go to add informal greetings, and maybe we'll make our changes to it here. Yeah, so, right, 
what's up and we'll return sup okay and now we'll test this code let's um, we're not going to commit it yet let's make sure it's working python from greetings import sup and we'll see if our function works like it should and it does and so now we're ready to uh, make a commit in our branch okay and now in the next video I'm gonna show you how to get this code back uh, into the trunk, out of your branch and into the trunk.